Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with a Project Pan update. This is for the Panning Cats and Dogs Project Pan. It is a fantastic ladies club and it was created by Deb B and Danny from Danny's Makeup. This project goes from October 22nd, 2022, that's National Make a Dogs Day, to October 22nd, 2023. Deb and Danny suggested we start with six prompts and then, um, add in more as we wish and come up with our own goals. So let me get on with my update. I feel like I just lost it at the end there. I was like, hmm, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? This is a two month update for me because I was sick in November. No, I think I did update this one. Well, whatever. I have eight prompts in here and every update I'm adding in two whether or not I finish things. So like on top of what I finished. So if I finish an item, I'm gonna roll in three. If I finish two items, I'm gonna roll in four. If I finish nothing, I'm gonna roll in two because I really wanna get through all the prompts. So I'm pretty darn sure that's okay with them. Um, and yeah, let me, just, let me just get into this. So best of breed, tell us about your pet. Rosie is comfy. She's very, very comfy. She's my little best friend and she's super cute. You've seen her in videos all the time. And for that, I w had a goal to finish my Sol de Janeiro a Boom Dia Bright Cream, and I did. I just can't find the empty. I don't know where it is. So it's empty, I hope you believe me, and that is a um, prompt rolling out. I think she about dialed me. Hello? Anyway, um, next prompt for balls slash toys, something that always rolls away. And for me, for that prompt, I rolled in this NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. My goal is to get all the way down to this P, and I wasn't ev even able to make another mark on my little card that I have. Here is the shade there. I need to really ramp up my usage on this if I wanna finish that goal by the end of the project, but it's staying in. Then I have for Rottweiler, a product you were scared of at first but fell in love with. That was this Georgette blush from ColourPop. I really enjoy these um, Super Shock blushes or any of their Super Shock cheek formulas. I really feel that they work nicely. And this is not a blush that scares me anymore. In fact, I'm wearing it today. It's a really lovely color. These stay nice and emollient. They don't... Um, they haven't dried out like the Super Shock shadows have, and my goal is to hit pan in this, so this is gonna continue to stay in. For boxer, items still in the box or packaging. When I rolled this product in, it was still in the box or in the packaging, and I decided to bring in my Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil. It's a priming facial elixir, and my goal is to get down to the top of this circle, and this is where I'm at so far. I'm trying to like give you I'm right about it right about here you guys I love this stuff I use this as a moisturizer in the morning and sometimes nothing else and then I'll put on my makeup this is beautiful it sinks into the skin beautifully um, I don't have super dry skin and this works for me so I'm really pleased it is staying in and I'm really excited to keep using it then um, for service or emotional support animal something that's loyal, a product that never lets you down. I put in this Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I am right here. I was able to mark it and I'm going to continue to mark this product. And here's what it looks like. This scared me at first because it's very um, dark when you swatch it, but it just blends out really nicely and it never lets me down. It works beautifully. It never looks like um, muddy on my skin or anything, and I really, really like it. So that's sticking around too. Um, for grooming, a product you use in the bath or shower. Hold please, I forgot to pull this one out. For that, I pulled in this Bath & Body Works Coconut Copper Sands Body Wash, and it's empty, yay, I finished it. So this is rolling out. This is a really nice scent. I liked it a lot. Little summary, of course, for right now, but I still liked it. And then 
For Persian cat, Persians are the royalty of cat breeds, a product that makes you feel like royalty. I brought in this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Oh, this is so lovely. I've used a couple of shades. My goal is to use it. No pan left behind style. This is sticking around because I have not used all of the shades yet. And then for domestic short hair, most popular breed of cat, an item from your largest category for me, that by far is eyeshadow palettes. So I brought in this Tarte Man Eater palette. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I really like the look. The shadows were really easy to use. Um, I used quite a few of them, but this is sticking around for another month because I have not used pretty much all like the pinky colors um, because I can use those on work days. So, well, I mean, I can use anything on work days really, but like they're, they're a little more tame to work, use on work days. So yeah, these two are still sticking around. So I hit goal on two items and then I told you I was gonna be pulling in two every single time. So I'm gonna roll four. And I have my spreadsheet, the products go from number 23 to 55, I put them in my pretty random app. So let me roll this sucker four times and then I'll go get the items and then I'll come back, let you know which items I chose and what prompts they are for. One, two, three, four. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm really excited about the products that I chose. The first one is for Chihuahua, a product the beauty community won't stop yapping about. And I decided to bring in a Pat McGrath Labs palette, um, one of her Mothership palettes. And this is Mothership 6, Midnight Sun. I am keeping it in this gorgeous packaging. And here is the palette itself. It is so weighty. And here is the beautiful color story. Gorgeous. So my goal with this palette is to use it three times in any capacity that I want. I didn't want to do a no pan left behind um, goal with this one because I wanted to be able to use any of the shadows any way that I want to and not have to worry about using them all if I didn't want to. So I'm going to use the palette. I have to use, do three looks with this palette. For the next prompt, Pug, an item with cute packaging, I'm bringing in this Sexy Mama Translucent Powder from the Balm. My goal is to hit pan. It's got a pretty good dip going, so we'll see. Hit pan. Um, then for English Mastiff, Mastiff, something with extremely bulky packaging. I am pulling in this CeraVe Itch Relief Lotion. It is a huge tub and I want it out. So, I don't know, I have about, I have a little less than half left. So my goal is to finish this. And then last but not least for catnip, a product that makes you lose your mind. Can you guys guess what it is? Pause the video, guess down below which product will make me lose my mind that I tried to pan this past year. Five, four, three, two, one. A Charlotte Tilbury Mini Pillow Talk Lipstick. I'm pulling this in now because I want to get this out as soon as possible. That's all I have left, all I have left. I'm not saying anything more. So, that is my update for the Panning Cats and Dogs Project Pan. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see if I finish this stinking lippy in record time, then subscribe. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.